those who have argued differently ended up helping our case because they say that there's a certain ruling which says the FCT is a state. Good. FCT is a state. Where is the each of 25% for FCT? It is not there. That constitutional requirement has not been met. That certificate of return is null and void and cannot be sworn in as president. And let me tell you, the way they are going, disregarding the calls of the people, violating the constitution, let them even go ahead, even if they swear in Tinubu Shetima on 29th of May. They are swearing in an unconstitutional government. Nothing will change it. Um, I am not a careless, reckless speaker. I am working with the constitution there, that document right you just read. I'm following it. And I dare to tell you that swearing in Tinubu and Shetima is as good as swearing in the Nigerian army on 29th of May. If you swear in uh, people that have not satisfied the requirement, you have by so doing ended democracy. The crisis I'm telling you now is that this our democracy is going to end by the way we are going. This democracy is going to end on the 29th of May 2023. Please write it. Those are extreme, you know my those are extreme thoughts. I am uh, very, very happy to say it. No, you know no, my name. You know, you introduced me. Yeah. Listen, no, don't stop those are, No, 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 I, I will, because it, those are extreme <laughs> thoughts. You know why? Because those, there, are, there are allowable language to be used on television, especially as it relates to our nation and the unity of this Put country. your question and let me answer you. Put no, your so, question. I know what I'm saying. If, if there is an official... If you breach and, the con Constitution... But it, is it not left to the court to decide otherwise? This is already decided by the courts. But the authority in charge of the election gave a declaration. Shall we, if, if you are afraid for some things, don't ask for them. I, I am not afraid. I will, no, then I will as a citizen mm -hmm. of the country, mm -hmm. by the ethics and the guidelines of my profession, yes. live by it. Yes. What is lawful? And I hope that you are a lawful citizen I of the country. A very, very and so whatever the stipulation one. of the law guides, that if you are aggrieved about something, you go to the court to seek redress, isn't it? This document is a product of the legal system. It has been signed into law by the uh, President, uh, uh, Commander-in-Chief, Federal Republic of Nigeria. I believe in this document. That is why I'm so lawful. That is why I'm so confident. And that is why, I'm, however extreme it is, Shion, I am saying it on national TV. I don't like to take risks. I'm not taking any risks. Swearing in a ticket that has not met the constitutional requirements of the Constitution, okay, is ending democracy. Quote me on it. That's, your, that's your interpretation. That is my it. interpretation. And that is indeed a correct interpretation. You cannot swear people who have not met the constitutional requirement. You can't do that. If you did it, you have done something unlawful, something unconstitutional. And I'm repeating it. Whoever does not meet the constitutional requirement must not, must never be sworn in. You said my name. If you like, I can say it again. I'm Dr. Baba Ahmed. I'm not taking risks with my safety and with my life. But I'm repeating swear in anybody who does not meet the constitutional requirements of our country, you are engaging in an unconstitutional act. Mr. President, do not hold that inauguration. CJ and your, your, your lordship, do not partake in unconstitutionality. I am taking these risks for the sake of my country. Yes, it is extreme and I'm saying it. It was more extreme for Yakubu to issue that... Uh, uh, certificate. It was reckless. That was he is putting all our lives in danger. All of us were already at risk. So what is there again in me taking risks again? What have they not done against Nigeria? What have they not abused in Nigeria? Now they will take the constitution where it is clear. It says and get twenty four. After that and FCT. They fail to get it. They are going to swear this man in, and I should be afraid. I will not be. I am telling you that. On the 29th of May, 2023, swear in Tinimbu as this result is, you have ended democracy whoever you are.